Dr. Seuss was a freaking hero. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I wonder if that will stay in Mike's YouTube video. <laughs> Probably not. What if I Venmo you seven dollars? Ooh. What if I DoorDash you Even and more so it will be edited out. I'll edit it out harder. What if I pay you to edit it out? Yeah, if, if he pays you to edit it out and you edit it out, I'm just gonna accuse you of taking bribes. <laughs> I like how we somehow skewed a conversation to like say Dr. Seuss is a hero is like on par with like saying like some war criminal is like a hero. Oh. <laughs> well, it was the reason he was saying he's a hero. Ooh, he's, uh... fair. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, but he wrote Green Eggs and Ham, so I guess she had it coming. Actually, yeah, Mike, if you just uh... <laughs> just edit the whole thing out, we'll just edit the <laughs> no, I was... video. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you just edit out the uh, the first part before he said he's a hero, we could have just been talking about Dr. Seuss. What's your favorite Dr. Dr. Seuss book? Dr. Seuss and the Cheat with My Mistress. <laughs> I was trying to think of a rhyme. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Dr. Well... Seuss sucked. He's a horrible human. He wrote a couple good children's books. Wow, crazy. There's a locket in your pocket. Okay, no, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Are you gonna get the witch lady? Oh, that's oh, right. Dead. I am no longer human because I have perished. I should, though. I did perished. Although, <clears throat> um, I guess I don't really need her armor or anything. It's, 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 it's fine. Her armor is cool. What is we're gonna use this wooden one? shield. And that is what, because the butterfly does the magic. Yeah, I remember you told me to do that when we first played this game. You think it'll glitch out and we can recreate that other video? Hopefully. <laughs> now nah, we need a uh, multiplayer session. Nate. Uh, we need Nate as did well. Did you figure yeah. out why that happened? I think it has to do with desync. Uh. Oh boy, <laughs> it does nothing to him. Yeah, I'm not as powerful as... Uh, Beatrice. <laughs> oh! Direct Dude, what's hit. your least favorite type of bird? You've asked me this yesterday. Yeah, but uh, I'm You probably don't remember it, though. <laughs> hey, what do you ask? Woo! What my least favorite bird was. What's your least favorite bird in? Alright, so I did some soul searching. And the answer that I came <laughs> up with was the marabou stork. Um, no, but see, the thing, is about, the thing about the Marabou Stork is that it's so ugly that it turns around into being cute. So I really don't know if I can say this like Marabou. Yeah, I'm gonna have a word. picture of this bird. <laughs> Marabou? How do you spell that? M A R A B O U. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I should just spell it out. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. It's a pretty ugly bird, but it's ugly in an endearing way, is the thing, you know? I think ugly and endearing way are those hairless cats. It's just kind of like... <laughs> it has a neck waddle and it looks like it's like prematurely balding. Ooh. Yeah, but come on. I don't know, man. It's... It's a tough sell. It's a tough sell, but like it can't be your least favorite because it's so ugly that it's like the world's ugliest dog competition, you know? It couldn't be your least favorite because it's so ugly you'd feel bad for, you know, picking on it even more. No, it's not because I feel bad. It's because it's a little bit endearing. Just because you can't appreciate ugly oh, birds, Josh. I, I can't. I'm... This butterfly has given me trouble. I'm very yeah, scared. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this could be interesting. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh. Not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he just continued to fly around. Yeah, that guy was on the warpath. Yeah, he's like, no, I'm not landing. Can't make me. <laughs> What's your least favorite bird based on? I like, once stayed attitude? in the air for three days straight. On his oh. attitude? Yeah, based on his attitude. Magpie, I guess. I thought they were smart. I mean, they're smart, but they have bad attitudes. Are they like cocky about their smartness? I think those those are the birds that uh that live in Australia and like kill people, aren't they? Oh, they like die them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what bird is that? Magpies. Um, yeah, magpies. Magpies. They're like super territorial, but in an endearing way, right? <laughs> Most intelligent animals in the world are one of the only few non-mammal species able to recognize itself in a mirror. Huh. I actually didn't know that. Whoa. They're known for their thievery. No kidding. I wonder what else that's not. Yeah, right. <gasps> My order's on the way. 
Hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this Let's Play has been sponsored by DoorDash. <laughs> DoorDash, DoorDash and Birds and Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and Dairy Queen. Oh. Uh, Big Boy Billy, what's your favorite bird? Um, I would have to say definitely the penguin. Uh, interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Why? Uh, please elaborate. Well, Why is that your least? No, I said oh, favorite. you said least favorite? No, I said favorite. Oh, you did say favorite. All oh, right, I was I was paying death. attention there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm deaf. I would say it's because like they waddle and they're just like waddle, 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 oh, okay. waddle, waddle. I'll get behind that. Peach is gonna use like all her solaris up before she can even get to the butterfly. That is okay. Wait, the NPCs actually have like limited reserves. Oh, I'm pretty sure they do. Dude, yeah. did you see that? Oh, geez. she destroyed that guy. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey. Also, penguins can fly. Ah, oh, yes, I have seen that. If you throw them hard enough, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, dude. <laughs> Once uh, the ones I saw, they actually had to like pack them onto a uh, Boeing. But uh, yeah, they were flying pretty well. Yeah, I... you just get like a, a trebuchet and just launch them into the water. I'm not sure. I, <laughs> I believe... love it. I'm not sure. I, I believe you, Wazzy. Wait, why is mine the least believable? I just talked about putting penguins on the airplane. Aiden's putting them in like trebuchets. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Who is Beatrice? Why does she hate this this thing? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> oh my gosh, the damage, Beatrice. Oh, that's, please, ever, con uh, please continue. Please, please continue. Yeah, please, Beatrice, we need you. Oh. Oh. That does so much damage. <laughs> she's intense. Aha. I bet she's useless for the four kings. Yeah. It's a crying shame, I tell you. Oh no. Oh. She just attacked you. What's hey. up? You dare? I'll you have dare. you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs. <laughs> hey, can you please recite that whole thing? I don't know that thing off the top of my head. <laughs> can you recite that? Can I clip it and make it my ringtone? <laughs> I, really, I would love to just be at work and all of a sudden my, ring, my phone goes off and it's just you talking like monotone reading that aloud. <laughs> that would be the best ringtone. All right, time hey, congratulations. Thanks. I'm gonna teleport away like a hero. Did we miss any items back there? Yes. Um, I don't think so. You aside got the from the and everything, right? That's just... Aside from that purple moss. Right. Aside from the purple moss. Oh, I know of one. I think it's a humanity. Um, I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I'll just run and grab it and then run away. I think it's a humanity. What do I know? Oh man, watch out. He's got a wild tongue, this one. I love those things. <laughs> the <laughs> best ragdolls in any video game. Yeah. You could use them to build a shelter after you murder yeah, them. Yeah, you could. It's like a, it's like Luke in Hoth, <laughs> but you're in a tropical area and it's a, a giant lizard. Oh, it's a soul of a proud knight. That's a good point, Aiden. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm the best at analogies. Oh, uh, you're definitely someone. <laughs> jumped right to Luke rather than going. It's like Star Wars. Oh, the guy. Luke. It's like a guy from Star Wars. <laughs> like you were more concise. Usual. Thank you. I was a little bit better than <laughs> my usual bare bonesy. <laughs> horrible analogies. Give us another analogy. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you need a reference. <laughs> You need something to go off of, you know? You're saying no was like that guy in that space film uh, when he got his hand <laughs> chopped off by his dad and he said no. Oh, Rick and Morty. Oh! No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, first try. First try. And it's still in the remastered. Isn't that great? Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah, we still what have a day to be alive. <laughs> what a day to be alive. Yeah. Oh, we have no more magic. How do we get more magic, gentlemen? Where's the magic um, at? We're back at Vinheim has the heavy soul arrow. Where has the magic gone? Long time passing. Um, hmm, hmm. Probably some dex would be good, I imagine, right? Unless we actually are going for a strength build. I'm thinking dexterity. Because Sounds good to me. I like fast weapons. I can poke things. So uh, how long are we planning on doing this for tonight? 
Uh, until no, no, I'm not like. I'm having fun. I just I also want to eat my food at some point. You can go get your food. Yeah, I'll wait it out. All righty then. What's up? Where's like the next like sequential boss from here? Like where are we supposed to go? Sequential. Log, I guess. Define sequential. Uh, oh no, this wouldn't be Quilog because we don't have the master key. Play it normally. Capra demon. Play it normally. Well, depends, you know? Like, we could hop on down here and fight the Hydra. Um, I don't know if I want to do that yet. Uh, could go get we the Grass get Crest the... Shield. We can get the Blight Town from here, can't we? Do we need the... We don't need the key to get the Blight Town from here. Uh, you are correct. So we can still skip that whole horrible part of Blight Town if we wanted to. Oh! I think we should get the Large Ember, though. Get him. Yeah, that's kind of important. Get him. We got some chunks. That's the second chunk, I believe. So that is a good chunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh, boy. You that's quoting a, something? That's another Neanders reference. Because that's what we are, I guess. This is the channel that references Neanders. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to promote his channel. He's sitting right here and uh, he needs a promotion. <laughs> it's me, Neanders. Is that already uh, a YouTuber? <laughs> no. Alright. But yes. Nice miss. No, there, yeah, there was a... There's a YouTuber who is now a VTuber, but there was one time... <laughs> who is now me and Josh were driving to somebody's house. Hey! Billy's house. Yay! And uh, we found a video. We were just listening to videos, because I'm just trying to weird Josh out with the stuff. Yeah, like I that. had it in the aux <laughs> board, and he always puts on the weird stuff. Uh, so we found a video called Softly and Sadly Reading the Bloodborne Wiki to You While You Fall Asleep, and we put that on. It was like a four-hour video. Um, this is like this girl with a high-pitched voice, like, just enunciating the word, like, the wiki pages. Yeah. One of them was just, Bloodstone Chunk. Yeah, the way she said chunk was incredible. Uh, so check that out, anybody, how if you strange. want, I guess, because we're plugging the Anners' stream now. How, how, is how strange. Anners' is queen. Anners' is bae. Yeah. Anners' is also probably a 48-year-old fat man. How dare you <laughs> disrespect my queen. I donated, a, I think it was like a dollar fifty to her once on stream just so we could ask her. Those three dollars, don't hide the number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, would, I will donate more at one point. But I got her to answer definitively the age-old question, would you rather squee or XD? Uh, to which she replied, why not both? Why not Squee XD? Queen has spoken. Has spoken. I think I tried asking you that on your stream sometime, Mike, but uh, you never answered me. You just got confused that's, by it. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I am still confused by it, to be quite honest. I don't simp to you. Uh, define uh, Squee and uh, XD. I'd, oh I'd my use. god, this guy here. If you have to ask, you don't know is all I'm saying. That's correct. <laughs> that would be the logical conclusion. Well, I mean, Mike does have a point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should, uh, I should not be using the wood shield right now. That could be fun. You should be parrying. Yes. Try to break, break his, uh, nice stance. That was a decent damage, actually. Okay, yeah, just do it, Close like, enough. six more times. Oh. Goodbye, Havel. Oh. Disgusting. He has a giant great shield, like, strapped to his back when you're doing that, and you... <laughs> yep. <laughs> This poor man. He just, he didn't even know what hit him. Oh! He didn't know what <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's decided to make it interesting. It's sure the last has. Second. Oh. Goodbye, Havel. We barely knew you. Poor fellow. Bless your heart. Well, you know what we can do now. Oh, heck yes. Oh. We can boost our poise, boys. Hey. Boys for the boys. I wonder if we could equip this elite knight armor. Shed a tear for the no. teddy being ring. No. Goodbye, our starting gift. Put the <laughs> ring back on, Mike. But why? Because it makes me feel good about my inadequacies. Mike, please, I have a lot of inadequacies. All right. <laughs> hmm. Howell's ring's just not doing it for me, is it? Is it now? Yeah. It usually, usually helps you with this kind of stuff. Hmm. Even the leather boots are like. Nope. I guess that would be what the, the <laughs> <Stupid> <laughs> description of the ring does. This is a problem. This is a big problem. That'll do, I guess. Quite big problem. After I open this door, we can then 
uh, traverse down to Black Town. Hey yo. Into the poison, and uh, the frame rate will be fine. Shockingly, how's that DoorDash? Yeah, good point. Like, where the, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've got such a headache. I need to drink alcohol. There you go. <laughs> That'll make it better. Blackout drunk. No, I feel okay. Pain. Black. Let's all do a shot for each time Mike takes a step in this game. Ooh. And starting now, and now we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is correct. Nor is it. I've been trying to think of a lot of uh, scenarios that I could use to lie about Josh. Um, nothing's coming up. That's funny. <laughs> Why would you want to lie about Josh? Abe's a compulsive liar, Mike. <laughs> he honestly is. I was going to... I was thinking about saying something about how you were like taking part in the Nanking protest. <laughs> I couldn't think of any way to make that um, not ban us from China because we need to get that Chinese audience. Yeah, a lot of mics of views come from the Chinese. Okay, my food's almost here. I'll be right back. All right, All right eh? Chinese. Ooh, that's uh, that's not gonna fly, is it? I mean, it's a dragon. So his shoes are ugly. <laughs> What shoes? What? It's a callback, Aiden. My gosh. Oh. We were talking about flies and a called fly. Cause oh. Had... <sighs> You're right. But dun dun. Aiden, I'm gonna do a frustrated sigh now. Are you ready? Yes. <sighs> that was for you. <sighs> well done. You made me do this. Do you know what's great? Uh, the guy who plays Jordy in Star Trek is the Reading Rainbow Man. Really? Yeah. Huh. I love the Reading Rainbow Man. I don't know who Jordy is, but I love the Reading Rainbow Jordy, Man. Jordy, um, uh, the engineer in Star Trek Next Generation. Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've never watched Star Trek. Oh, it's so good. It's I just so didn't good. know that guy was an actor. That's why it surprised me. I mean, I guess he obviously is an actor. I just didn't know he was, like, an actor in other things. Yeah, I, he, all the characters are, all the main characters are great in uh, Next Generation. Oh, <sighs> right. What a shame. Uh, Key's, like, right Dude, over here, That's locked from both sides. Yes, sir. Uh, key's right over here, though, for it. Did they uh, fix the frame rate issue down here? Yes, they did. Oh. Isn't that fantastic? These Soleros do, like, nothing. I know, I need something better. Time to stab their butts. I stab his butt. That's really cheeky freaky of you. Oh, huh. Mm -hmm. Iframes. I can't believe this guy. Teleport behind him. Oh. <laughs> My secret power. My lag switch. I uh, once saw a speed run, and there is one trick you can do where you jump off a very specific precipice on that walkway right over there, and you'll turn out fine. You'll make it down. Ooh, are you gonna do it for us now, no. live? No. Live on recording? No. <laughs> no. I'm scared. That's okay, Mike. Everybody gets scared sometimes. The important thing is you don't let your fear move. I do believe it's this plank right here. You can just survive off of this? Yes. You gotta do huh. it. You gotta do it, uh, basically perfectly. Can you imagine how lit your uh, chat would get, though? You did it perfectly right now. <laughs> I, I, get, I get chat. pretty excited. Shut up, Aiden. Oh, wait, are we? Yeah, are you just recording or is this going to switch? Uh, this is just recording. Ah, okay. Which I wouldn't mind streaming it, also. That's a lot of things we're doing at once. That would be a lot of things. That'd be like two things. Yes. Yay! Yay. Um, let's see. I don't think I will need the oh, wait uh, a second. Firelink bonfire. If we pick up the Firekeeper soul down here, he's gonna kill the uh, Firekeeper. I always forget about that. Oh, only if we pick it up? I'm pretty sure it's only if you pick up the Firekeeper soul down here, yeah. Really? That's the trigger, huh? I think so. Interesting. Now, to get his armor, you leave him alive, yes? I think so, yeah. If you want his full armor sword, I think you have to go through the whole thing and let the Firekeeper die and everything. And then if you want the Ring of Favor and Protection, you... You, uh, kill him immediately? I mean, I that's the easiest way to get it, but I think he also gives it to you if you invade and kill him. Right? Does no? He? I think so. Don't recall. That was a good question. Oh, good. My favorite enemies. The flying spiders. Yeah, they're pretty fly. Oh! 
No oh good, toxic. Do we even have a... Nope. No. Time to ah, run. Okay. The time. race to the bonfire begins. T time to run. <laughs> Should be fine, you gotta eat yes, this. The suspense is killing me. Stamina. <laughs> uh. Wait, are you alive? You're gonna get invaded by Manny or Mildred. You're bum, bum, right. <laughs> um, Perfect timing. This is gonna suck. Shoot. Um. Hmm. I mean, she's pretty easy. Hopefully, the only problem is this toxic that you've got going. This is your problem. There you go. Yeah, you got this. Oh, it freezes your toxicity too. Hey. Hey. This stuff. <laughs> Better in my head. <laughs> <laughs> what a tribulation we just went through. Oh, well, look at all these players. So many. Oh, look at that. Ooh, we're kindling. We are. More Back Estes. in my day, we didn't kindle at all, and we never wore shoes in the snow. <laughs> How's that frostbite working out for you? <laughs> it makes my stamina regeneration go slower. Shoot. Builds character. Treasure ahead. That is, that's a fine point you just made. I can't agree. Um, so I might have also done a handful of shots. <laughs> Define a handful. Um, what's the average number of figures if you've lost one hand across two hands? I see. Okay. So if, if you lost one hand, hand across two across hands. Two hands. Yeah, I, I didn't. I had a, a thought in my head, and I didn't word it right, so I tried to fix it, and it didn't fix. <laughs> I think that answers the question, basically. So uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat my Dairy Queen toast, which is criminally underrated toast. So apparently, those spider dudes that you just killed are like humans. Oh, that have been deformed. Was... Yeah, they do. Yeah, have, like you can see, I think like, they the have head human there. heads. Yeah. Yes. They just got like Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. The fly. Uh, are you referring to some kind of movie with yeah, Jeff the, Goldblum? The fly. The fly? Oh, okay. I what movie could you possibly be talking about? I have no idea. And I will massage your shoulders. Thank you. Yeah. That wasn't a threat or anything. Just one day, buddy. <laughs> when you're be nice. When you're feeling stressed, I'll give you a nice shoulder rub. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Jokes, you know, very bad at it, so you won't enjoy it at all. <laughs> it was a threat. That used to be like the worst part of visiting my grandmother. <laughs> she would always rub me and my sister's shoulders, and she was horrible at it. And it was like always like a really tight grip, and we were just like sitting there wincing while she's like rubbing our shoulders. Yikes! <laughs> it was rough. Other than that, she's a great grandmother. Sounds like a bad time. I hate it when you're at a party and there's that one person who's like, I'm really good at shoulder rubs and back rubs, and then they like have to prove it so they like make you sit Awkward. for them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want this. Awkward. That's like what Julie does, but she just steps on you instead. Oh yeah, you got stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> she just steps. Well, like, she does that thing where she like steps on your back because she wants to crack your back. And I'm usually drunk enough to be like, okay. In exactly that voice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Every time that happens, they always like comment like about and how my tense back is completely like. deformed. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, your your back's weird shape. Your shoulders are like so tense. It's like, thanks. Yep, thanks, I've got man. the nerd neck. Could be looking like that peak uh, video gamer diagram. <laughs> oh God. Oh. I need to start Please. doing some exercises Please for my no. neck muscles. Team Shredded. I know Team Shredded. I need to do it because then when the pandemic is over, I'm going to have my new cool car and I'm going to be like all hot. That's the thing. Like, and then you love me again. All the like, all the attractive people are getting fat from the pandemic because they're like sitting home eating cheeseburgers. Uh, or, or Dairy Queen. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're going to get shredded. We're going to come out of the pandemic looking great. <laughs> Got your uh, at home gym. I'm going to get real buff uh, biceps straight. Yay. That's my favorite muscle. And then he'll let me drive in his car with him. <laughs> we should go back up the eh. side of Blight Town just to say we eh. can. What, back up this way? Yeah. I've done that before. Yeah, I've done it a couple times too. Um, then you go up there and you're like, oh, the door to the depths is shut. Yeah, it's always a problem. It's actually really handy for those guys. A soul arrow. Uh, yeah, Josh. It's time you get with it and realize that the soul arrows are the best thing to happen this side of... Uh, yeah, go. Well, Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky. Kentucky. Have to have someone else finish your... Uh, uh... No, I was going to say that. 
<laughs> you were not. <laughs> Kentucky? <laughs> yeah. For real? Yeah, totally. Stop using your compulsive lying to, like, <laughs> confuse Mike. Why do you not like me lying to you all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Then when you say you love me, I never know if it's true. <laughs> That's always true. Is that a lie? No. Josh, my love for you is pure as the snow uh, that just fell today. <laughs> that was that was the most coherent analogy you've made. <laughs> hold, hold on, was there actually snow today? Because I'm pretty sure no. a few days ago there was snow. No, was again. snow <laughs> I don't get out much. That's right. I'm going to the same sweatpants I woke up in. I showered and everything, I just came back on because I'm like, oh, You know, the S-Stock has a, a bit of a problem with short enemies. I've noticed. Slugs, the bane of the S-Stock. Yeah. Oop, oh, what what the hell's over here? It's been so long since I've been over to the slug area. It's just a bunch of slugs. The slug level. The slevel. I remember one time at the, uh, the playgroup that me and Josh used to go to, I just showed up and Josh was over there and he was hunched over like a, uh, a bench. And I was like, hey, Josh, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm uh, I got I got this horde of slugs, and he just had like a bunch of slugs in his hands. I was like, oh, nice. What are you gonna do with those? And he just uh, I fed them to all my rats. Yeah, you fed them to your rats. Wow, <laughs> brutal. That's pretty metal. You know, my rat horde's gotta eat. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your rat horde alive. Yeah, because otherwise they turn on you. And that's it. You don't want that. Or they make yeah, you the I think rat you were, king. You, I think you told me you were trying to get food because you wanted to recreate the mouse utopia experiments. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know if it ever worked out. Did it ever work out for you? No, I just, I instead watched a video on it instead and realized it didn't really, uh, <laughs> down again. Dude, that story is, like, crazy, though. That, yeah, it's, a I guy did that in his spare time. I guess for the people who don't know, the, because the mouse utopia experiments is, like, this Ford sort of, uh, I don't even remember what it was. It was like, well, I guess an experiment. It was an experiment where some guy took like a bunch of rats and put them in a room, or I guess mice, they weren't rats, uh, put them in like a tiny area, but give them as much food as they ever needed. So it was like a, I guess a utopia for mice. It was a self-contained <laughs> environment. Where, like, yeah, it was a self-contained environment. Yeah. How did they, how did they then, behave? Uh, well, that was like the whole experiment, just like he started like distributing the food like more to certain sectors and like... No, I think he just put it in like the center, right? Didn't he... He may have started out, but at some point... I was watching this very late at night, so I could be completely wrong. But I think he started like distributing the food, like more food to one side, less food to the others to see how they would behave. Oh, maybe. But uh, yeah. Eventually it ended up being like... Certain, like all the females went crazy, like s sleeping in like the top room of like the whole because there was like there were like apartments and like levels and stuff and then like all the alpha males went crazy and they like wouldn't like leave the uh and anyway it's, it's, it's crazy look it up if you're interested and i remember like the last generation of mice were called like the beautiful ones which is like the creepiest thing you could ever name like a group uh, of rats <laughs> it's really sounds, fascinating that sounds fascinating probably animal cruelty a little bit a little bit no uh large titanite drops that's upsetting. That's, do those guys? I guess yeah. they do, right? Yes, they do. They, they drop large titanite in no green titanite? No large or green. I just picked yeah. up a green, but it was from a corpse. So that's good. That's great. Now we're all set to level up our s talk. Right, I'm in a cave. I'm going to mute myself and go get some dinner. Should we just call this here, then? We could. I just found a bonfire. Okay. Bye. Bye, Bye. everybody. It's been fun. It's been another exciting adventure in the life of Witty Yankee. It's been fun, real. <laughs>just wanted to let you know that I also have a Twitch channel, so don't forget to follow me there. And if you're interested in Big Boy Billy's Banana Bonanza, he also has a Twitch channel. And he has a YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe and follow to him. He's currently working on his first YouTube video. Links in the description. Thanks.